Hello everybody, welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So I just wanted to give you a quick news update before that. We've got a lot of great videos coming up on Starlink, solar panels, some new EV chargers coming out. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So as of yesterday, the 18th of March 2021, the government have changed the plug-in grant structure for electric vehicles being sold in the UK. So we thought we'd give a quick update, let you know what the changes are, hopefully it's useful. So this has come as quite a bit of a shock to everybody. Um, most people involved, well, I don't think anybody knew about it. Nobody knew this was coming, the car dealers. There's a lot of people who were about to order their cars. They've been totally caught out. We were ex all expecting changes to be announced in the budget. When nothing was announced in the budget, everybody sort of felt like they were safe. Then these changes have come through um, quite late on after the budget. Now, the reason given is that the government made a change seven hours ahead of when it became effective last year. And there was a huge spike in orders and it really affected what they're budgeted for in the grant. So they announced it at the time that it became effective. So this isn't this doesn't affect anybody who's already ordered their car as long as the dealer has put their paperwork through on the government grant portal. If you're unsure, check with your car dealer. If you haven't ordered a vehicle, you're too late. So firstly, we'll talk about the plug-in car grant changes. So apologies if I'm reading. This is brand new information. I'm trying to memorise it, but it's a bit difficult. So before the changes, you could order a car under £50,000 and get the grant. This no longer applies. It's got to be less than £35,000. So the grant has changed. It was... 35% of the purchase price of the vehicle up to £3,000. This has changed to 35% of the purchase price of the vehicle up to £2,500. This means that all the higher end vehicles or what you know the mid class vehicles for um, a lot of people are buying for uh, company vehicles and things like that, they're no longer eligible. So that includes all the Teslas, um, the Polestar, the new Ford Mustang Mach E and uh, the vehicles that are kind of safe still, things at the, the lower end like the uh, Nissan Leafs, MG ZS EV and all those kind of vehicles around that price range. Things like the VW ID3, it's worth checking because some might fall into it and some might not. Same with uh, the Hyundai Kona and the Kia Enero. I'm not sure, so we think that some of the higher battery versions fall outside of the spec, whereas the lower battery versions fall inside of the spec. Now we'll move on to the plug-in van grant. So the van grants have changed quite a lot and it affects a lot of commercial vehicles quite heavily. So it's a little bit complicated. The vans were, re were really simple. It was up to 20% of the purchase price up to £8,000. Now they've broken it down into the different weight classes. So it's up to 35% of the purchase price up to £3,000 for small vans which is less than two and a half tonnes of the gross vehicle weight. And then for ver vehicles outside of this, so two and a half tonnes to three and a half tonnes of the gross vehicle weight, this has moved to 35% of the purchase price up to £6,000. So you've got to get your heads around <laughs> how that affects different vehicles. It's a bit of a mess as far as I can see. Um, what we can say is that vans like the EMV 200 and the Maxus eDeliver 3 fall in the lower category and therefore will only get the um, £3,000 grant. And then the larger vans that fall into the category are things like the new um, Peugeot, Citroën, Vauxhall um, vans, the v Vivaro, the Peugeot eXpert and the Citroën... Yeah, the Citroën eDispatch... <laughs> That, so those fall into the, um, the larger category, so they still get up to £6,000 or 35%. The plug-in grant for vans has also changed um, in terms of its eligibility if it's not an electric van. So you need to check that out if you're considering buying a hybrid and it was eligible for the grant. Make sure it still is. The plug-in truck grant has also changed. I'm not going to go into detail on that, but again... It has changed. There's a lot of complexity in the structuring. So 
if you were thinking of ordering a vehicle, your, your quotes would definitely have changed and it's worth checking with the dealers to see what those changes are. This is really disappointing. Um, the government has committed to encouraging uh, the uptake of electric vehicles. Vans in particular presented a really good opportunity to upgrade fleets and lower our carbon emissions through transport on the roads. However, this is this announcement has come as a bit of a shock. I think it will affect the van sales and car sales. So for anybody who was thinking about getting a charge place at their home or the workplace, there's been no changes to that as of today. So um, the grants stay the same, which are £350 towards a charge point at your home and £350 per socket towards charge points at your business, up to 40 sockets. So that hasn't changed as of today, the 19th of March, 2021. I hope you found it useful. I hope you haven't fell over and fainted and need to watch the video again because it was too much of a shock. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.